Welcome to our weekly Bible Reader Companion Series. This week our reading is taken from Philippians chapters 3 and 4 and Hebrews chapters 1 through 8. And our memory verse comes from Philippians 4 and verse 13. From the New King James, our memory verse reads, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let's consider the passages we find over in Hebrews chapter 3 verses 1 through 6 together today. Therefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our confession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him who appointed him, as Moses also was faithful in all his house. For this one has been counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who built the house has more honor than the house. For every house is built by someone, but he who built all things is God. And Moses indeed was faithful in all his house as a servant, for a testimony of those things which would be spoken of afterward. But Christ, as a son over his own house, whose house we are if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm to the end. As benefactors of the redemptive work of Christ, it is only fitting that Christians pause to consider or to fully observe Jesus Christ, the apostle and high priest of our confession, as mentioned here by the Hebrew writer. Our confession is the profession of, of faith that the gospel calls us to live by. As God's apostle, one that has been sent forth, Jesus came to earth as a messenger with a mission. The, messenger, the message the Father sent Jesus to proclaim was the gospel, God's heavenly uh, invitation to sinners, to all mankind, to be saved. Jesus, who God sent, spoke the words of God. The mission Jesus was sent to accomplish, which he did through the cross, was to be the Savior of the world. We partake of the heavenly calling by a life that professes the gospel that he, our Lord, preached. One cannot partake of the heavenly calling by rejecting the word and the work of the apostle of our confession. We are also exhorted to give careful and complete consideration uh, to the high priest of our confession, uh, Jesus Christ. The high priest under the law of Moses was taken from among men and appointed for men in things pertaining to God that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. We see this over in Hebrews chapter 5. Aaron was called by God to fill this role. By God's oath, Christ was called as high priest. Aaron entered a tabernacle made with human hands there to offer animal blood for his sins and for the sins of the people. But our high priest has entered into heaven itself, the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched or erected, and not man, seated at God's right hand. He offered his own blood to God to atone for our sins, for the sins of the world. By offering his flesh, Jesus opened the way for sinners to have access to God's mercy. We draw near to God only because our high priest offered his blood to God as a sacrifice for sins. Now at God's right hand, Jesus always lives to make intercession for those who come to God through him. Thus, as Christians, we can truly come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy in our time of need. What an amazing high priest that Jesus Christ is. Just as Jesus was faithful to the Father, as Christians, we must be faithful to our Lord. This is how we hold fast our confession. Put your trust and confidence in the Lord, who is truly our source of strength. Let's continue to think about our memory verse, Philippians 4 and verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you and join us again tomorrow as we continue to meditate on God's word together. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.